hi YouTube. Um, I can't sleep yet again. It's uh, five past four in the morning. Uh, I just can't sleep and I feel really anxious. I just feel like running out of the hotel room and just running into the road or something. Or... Um, <clears throat> I, need, I need some water. I can't sleep, I can't sleep again, it's four, some at four in the morning. There's Blackpool out there. Uh, I just wish I could forget about how I really do. I just wish I could forget about it, and it's just driving me insane, it's like, I feel like... I feel like pulling my hair out or something, I feel like, I don't know. I can't sleep because when I'm trying to sleep, I keep waking up every minute, I keep waking up every few seconds, like with like, with like convulsions or something, I keep like sh getting shivers like when I'm trying to sleep. I think I might have to go to the, back to the, I think I might have to go to the doctors when I get back. Where'd I put my water, that is. I just hope this anxiety goes. <laughs> I think what's causing it is I'm picturing Aaron and this new person that is with Junior, Stilettos, Marie Woodward. <sighs> I'm picturing them together and it's just really upsetting me. I can't seem to stop picturing it together. I just wish I could get my stupid head. So it's in fair. <laughs> it just doesn't seem fair. I just I really love that man, I really did. <laughs> I really loved him. Just I don't know. Oh my eyes. I just really loved that man, I did. I really loved him with all my heart. Loved, I just loved Aaron with all my heart and just I don't know what to say about it, it just, it's just too painful. Oh. I'm just pretending this video is like a person I'm talking to, that's what I'm pretending because I feel like I'm going to go insane otherwise. I can't wake Lee and Chris up because they're in the room two doors down. I can't wake them up. It's like ten past, twenty past four in the morning. I didn't fall asleep to at least two because I kept looking at my, my phone. I kept looking at WhatsApp to see if he was responding to my messages or not. And at the same time, I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified of him turn up at my door and how I'm going to react to that. I just don't know how I'm going to react to that. <laughs> I just wish I was dead. I really wish I was dead. Hollow feeling in my heart, it's like he's died or something. 
It just feels like it just feels like he's died or something. It feels really the heart feels like it's shriveled up into into stone. I don't know why he's treated me like this, I just don't understand it. I really don't. You see all these movies and you see all these adverts about happy couples and it's just... It's just impossible. No matter what I do, it just... I don't know what to say. <laughs> it just seems impossible. It's, it's, he's obviously having a good laugh. He obviously finds it funny. It must be funny to him that I've been hurt so much by him that he can go around and see all these different men, this that, and the other. It must be funny, it must be really it must be about a joke, ha 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 ha. I mean do you think if I'd if I'd said to if I'd said to him in the in the first year I want I was I wanted to marry him, and if I planned to marry him, do you think he would have? Do you think he would have not cheated on me then? I just, <laughs> I just got so many questions going around my head. What I've done wrong? seem to attract people who are mad and then I, and then it and then and then it carries on until I get mad. I mean when I I mean when I was with um when I was with another when I was with uh, my ex my other ex Lee Lee um quite a few things happened then as well. He had um I went cycling the once and he and he had some man over when I went cycling. Um Anyway, that was distant in the past, but that's going back about oh, nearly ten years. <laughs> I just don't know why I attract these kind of people. The same kind of pattern happens. I mean, I've watched Aaron bash his head against the wall. I've watched Lee watch bang his head against the wall. I feel like banging my head against the wall. I'm not going to do it because there's no one to stop me from killing myself. But I just really, really feel like I want to kill myself. I just, I just really, I just want to be dead. I just wish I was dead. I really do wish I was dead. I just wish I was dead. I'd rather... I would rather... I'd rather that Aaron had killed me than going through... All this constant breaking up and then getting back together and breaking up and getting back together. Maybe should maybe should have cut the back. Maybe should have cut the front brakes on my bike as well. <laughs> At least then I wouldn't be here. Then I wouldn't be here, would I? <laughs> I 
felt completely worthless. I felt cheap, I felt used, I felt worthless. <laughs> I just felt like shit. I felt like, I felt like a big pile of shit. Sort of thing. I really love that man. I love to. I, I opened my whole heart to that man. I was ready for love at the time. Previous relationships between 2010 and 2014, I had, I think, two or three relationships during that time. Um, And it was like there was no no emotion there. Um, I didn't feel any emotion or anything. I think after I think after I left Lee, I think after I left Lee, there was so many there had been so many problems there <laughs> that I didn't have any emotion left. And that's how I feel like I am now as well. That's how I feel I'm becoming. I feel like I'm becoming emotionless. I feel like all my emotions are just going and I'm just going to turn into a robot or something. <laughs> I don't know if that's a survival mechanism or what, but that's how. <laughs> oh, where's my tissue? Oh, God. I really would rather he'd, he had killed me rather than all this all the time because this is torture. It's emotional and mental torture. That's how it feels. I can't sleep. I've only slept for two hours. Every night when I try and sleep, I keep waking up all the time. Um, it's driving me insane. Everywhere I look, everywhere I go, I keep thinking about Alvin and what he's doing, and and he's with and he's with this other person, and <sighs> where's the light? You can't really see that well. I really thought that he was the one for me, that he was going to be there for me for my whole life, and that I was going to be there for him for his whole life. <laughs> I really felt that that was the truth at the time. He came across as this sweet, innocent, per this innocent guy. He came across as this really nice person. And then gradually it just got worse and worse. <laughs> and then all the cheating made me paranoid. Um, and constantly worrying that the next time he's going to do it. Until until the point where every time he, p he picked up the phone, I was panicking that he was after someone else. And that's exactly how he was when I first met him. He was, every time I sent someone a text message, he was right next to me watching everything I was doing. Every time I rang someone, he was watching me everything I was doing. It seems like the, revo the roles are reversed. I feel, like I've, I feel like I've gone mad. And I feel like he's gone more sane. He, he was, he was all over the place when I met him. He was like, he was very up and down. <laughs> 